Kamala Harris being asked about the border? Let's get into it. Uh, um, when you become president, what would be your uh, specific your steps? Help. Yeah, of course. <laughs> what would be your specific steps to strengthening the border? So it's a wonderful and important question. Um, I, you know my background was as a prosecutor, and I was also the elected attorney general for two terms of a border state. So this is not a theoretical um, issue for me. This is something I've actually worked on. Okay. I have prosecuted transnational criminal organizations for the trafficking of guns, drugs, and human beings. I take very seriously the importance of having a secure border and ensuring the safety of the American people. Uh, sadly, where we are now can be traced most recently back to the fact that when the United States Congress, members of the Congress, including some of the most conservative Republicans, mm -hmm. came up with a border security bill. And here's what that border security bill would have done. It would have put 1,500 more border agents at the border. And let me tell you, those border agents are working around the clock. It would have just been about giving them some support and relief, which is probably why the border agents actually endorsed the bill. It would have allowed us to stem the flow of fentanyl and I'm looking at people from all over the country here, so I don't need to tell the folks who are watching this what fentanyl has done to families, to, to kids in our country, and the need to take seriously stemming the flow coming into our country and addressing that extraordinary and, and tragic issue in terms of its effect. The bill would have allowed us to have more resources to prosecute transnational criminal organizations. Mm and it would have been part of the solution. And Donald Trump called up those folks and said, don't put that bill on the floor for a vote. He blocked the bill, and you know why? Because he'd prefer to run on a problem instead of fixing a problem. Yeah. And he has put his political, personal political security before border security. Because understand, even in the intervening months, what that bill would have done to give support to folks who care about this issue. And this, again, gets to the point about what does leadership really look like? And is it about you or is it about the people? Right. Is it about running on problems or fixing problems? My work and my career has always been about saying, let's fix problems. Let's so, address the needs, because we know it's within our capacity to do that. So to answer Justin's question, now that that bill has gone and hasn't passed, <laughs> will you reintroduce that? Absolutely. And when I am elected president of the United States, I will make sure that bill gets to my desk and I will sign it into law. Thank you, Justin. Thank you. Thank you, Justin. Listen to this. A, a, a majority of young Americans... A rumor has it she is still trying to answer the question. Because she still haven't answered the question. Did you guys hear the answer? Because I'm still waiting. This has to stop. Democrats, if you want Kamala to win, stop letting her do interviews. She is terrible. Look how Oprah had to stop her and be like, yeah, 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 we know all of these stuff already, basically. In the middle of when she's speaking. And then Oprah had to double down and be like, well, the guy asked this question. Now what are you going to do about it? And she still didn't answer. Let me know what you guys think.